I'm going to show you how to make a composite image with the moon over top of another image just like this one. Hi, my name's Tim Shields. I'm a landscape photographer and I make videos about photography. So if you like learning about photography, please consider subscribing to this channel. So I shot this series of images of the moon last night during the Super Blood Wolf Moon event of 2019. And I'm going to show you how you can use your own images and create your own composite image just like this one. I'm going to jump into Lightroom and let's get started. All right, I've got Lightroom open. I have all of the images that I shot during the Blood Moon event open across the bottom. I selected the ones that I thought made sense that would be part of a series of a sequence that showed the sequential changes of the moon. And for all of those, I gave them a five star rating by right clicking on them. And then I chose set rating and chose five stars. And then this way I can come over here to the filter, click on the fifth star. And now it only shows the images that I selected. Then I did a adjustment for each moon shot and to see exactly what settings I used take a look at the video that is in the top right corner of your screen right now click on this video up here and it will show you um, exactly how I process the individual moon shots so after I had done the editing for each individual moon shot now I want to export all these photos into Photoshop and to do that I simply right click and click edit in Adobe Photoshop. Then it's going to import all of them into Photoshop. Photoshop is open and I have selected a photo that I want to use and I want to um, paste my moonshots over top of this image. I turned down the saturation on the image because it would look more natural with the moonshots. I also darkened the entire image and made some adjustments to the levels and next I go to the first tab which is the full size moon. Now I want to put a square around this with the selection tool. Control C to copy it. Go over to my main image. Control V to paste it and there it is. Now here is the layer and I want to change the blend mode on the layer to screen. It's made the uh, black background transparent, which is exactly what I wanted. Now I go to my second image, which is this one, and again. And so I'm going to duplicate that process with each layer. And really it's a case of arranging them to be in the location where I want them to be. And I ended up reducing the size of all of these so that they were exactly the same. And the way that I did that was I selected all of the layers together. And then being up here in the free transform tool, I just click on the edge of the tr free transform tool, which brings up this little box here, which currently is at 100%. And I selected that and put in 75% and then it reduced the sizes of every moon at exactly the same amount. The other thing that I did was change the opacity. I brought the opacity of each layer down from 100 to about 90, maybe 85, and that gave it also a more realistic look. Make sure that all of these moons were balanced with a sense of symmetry in the photo, so like the uh, distance between the left side and this moon is the same as the distance between the right side and this moon. And also I arranged them in a little bit of an arc. It's not exactly a straight line. And I noticed that as I was shooting the photos of the moon, they were actually moving up in an arc type of pattern. That is really the simplified version on how you make a composite image with multiple moons and a blood moon at the end. So I hope that you will make your own image and uh, leave a comment below if you thought that this tutorial was of value to you. And please, this is a uh, photography channel. I make lots of photography tutorials. So please subscribe if you'd like to learn more about photography and to take a look at the other videos that I have on landscape photography. Thanks for watching.